he's coming in and I'm dropping. I'm automatically drop out, out. Okay, so that means I'm going into the groin area. Now that's the groin area there, but I'm side so that you can see the length of that. Now he's got to land, okay? So that means I'm gonna have to be able to trap it. Okay, back up again. That's a different version. Up, trapping it here, okay? Or back up again, up and then taking up this way, okay? Up again, I'm just giving you variations on that, okay? Up, again, and popping it again, okay? Some, some people might be able to just flip into this position, hit it, and then go back up, okay? That's the variation that you can use, especially on the dropping. Now, say, okay, but when he throws a roundhouse kick, right, I'm gonna go into the same direction. He throws a roundhouse kick, I'm gonna go bangle. Take him down into that position, catch him from that side, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, or if I'm gonna use my legs on my whole body, and when he throws a roundhouse kick, I'm gonna catch and wind into this position. Now watch as I take my options, okay? He comes inside, and that's where he wants to hit. I step inside, and I make sure that I'm catching, stopping, grabbing. But I allow myself to take a full turn. His leg will eventually meet right in the back of mine and down, okay? My options then again would be take him into a full split, bang, bam, working into the type that favors, that I, uh, techniques that I favor. All right, that's, that is what we're using, what we call a jamming or spinning technique, which again, comes in inside and just completely roll, okay? If I want to work into my locks, I can, all right? I'm gonna use 